Hello everyone, Hugo Fan and Jane Great. Welcome to Elias Tech Channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about one of the very important topic friend of mine. He was asking me uh, that um, his aim is to become expert in cloud computing. So he asked me like, Elias, what is the tips and um, what would be your suggestion if I become a good at or expert at cloud computing? It's different between good at cloud computing and expert um, in cloud computing. My suggestion uh, for a friend of mine was there is a three phases to become expert on cloud computing. I need your attention right now because if you're a big fan of cloud computing and you want to improve your knowledge and you want to be an expert on cloud computing a person as, as a person who spent more than a decade in information communication technology and I thought to conclude this all um, my suggestion for a friend of mine and then meanwhile I thought to share with all of you as well there's the three phases phase number one is a local area network it's not only network specific you need to be aware of what is going on in the local area network for example what is server what is work group environment, what is domain environment, what is active directory, what is uh, additional domain, what is child domain, what is uh, second child domain, so on. So first of all, you need to get familiar what is going on in the local area network. Whatever you can see it and you can touch it and you can modify it, you can add and remove and you can assemble and disassemble the devices, for example, if any server hard drive is get failed so you physically remove and add another hard drive you need to know what is RAID what is the purpose of RAID see RAID itself is designed for all the, for, for residency RAID is itself is designed for the backup in case one is failing another will take over so until you replace the hard drive you need to know for each project for each project how many servers do we need if you are familiar about this topic if you're familiar about this all the stuff for example if i ask you go ahead and see why the servers perform very slow when you see the error is coming from hard drive and when you see the server is out of date you need to update the server so something is wrong with active directory with the user uh, account uh, for example we have a group policy management uh, system and we have a uh, there's a lot of uh, rules and regulation we are applying on or, uh, organization unit or object unit so on as that some client does not able to print or some client does not able to uh, access some specific folder which we have specified through the rule base um, uh, through the rule based access list and if you are familiar about this word if you are if you know what is going on for example go ahead and see the client a does not able to access the internet but he is able to access the local internet but he is not able to access the public internet so if you are familiar about this all the stuff what i am telling you you become expert on cloud computing what's the cloud computing before i dive into cloud computing this was the phase one the phase one is to be on the ball Keep on touch on the devices every day. What is switch? What is router? What is modem? What is modulator? What is backup system? What is not backup system? What is network rack? What is server rack? How many servers do we have? What is alternative solution? What is the single point failure? What could be the uh, solution in order to have a backup? So it's a lot of stuff in daily basis you need to get involved in here what is going on how the cloud computing become very easy if you know phase number one and now let's talk about phase number two phase number two is virtualization see virtualization is one of the very interesting topic for those who want to become expert on cloud computing so virtualization is phase number two before you dive into cloud computing it is not easy dive into cloud computing i've seen many people especially the younger generation they dive into cloud computer they just want to get two three certification and they are good to go they just want to dive in and get the job and when they work on the production they'll get confused like what, what, what does it mean what am i supposed to create the user in here the manual i had another user in here what is local area network like or what's domain account and what is dmz account so they're a bit confused what is dmz account what is domain account so on so let's talk about the phase number two which is virtualization for example we have an oracle company we provide the virtual machine 
on VirtualBox. We have a VM workstation uh, that's only designed for the uh, desktop that you can play around. You can add, remove, modify, so you can add more interface if you want. If you want to add more operating system, you can take snapshot of the operating system and in case of failure, so on. So you, uh, my suggestion is to try to get familiar with the virtualization. Virtualization uh, itself is a, is a bright topic, but uh, this, uh, I mean, this click or this clip is only for those who are already involved in technology. So, virtualization is the longest to be short about, like, if you want to have more than two, three, four, five system in one PC, we are doing virtualization. So virtualization is that it based on the hardware performance. It's a lot. I don't want to dive into virtualization right now, but because my topic is different, I didn't want to route you a different topic. So virtualization is important uh, for those who want to become on the cloud computing. So virtualization is a step number two in order to become expert on cloud computing. So uh, let's talk about what is phase three. Phase three is cloud computing. Now, what is the confusion in cloud computing? You may not have any confusion, zero doubt because you're expert, you know what is local area network, you know what is going on in the local area network, and you know what is virtualization. If you know what is going on in the local area network, and you know what's virtualization, here's my suggestion. Cloud computing will be a piece of cake. It's very simple, it's very easy, because before you used to work in the hardware environment, you used to work in the server, the data center, and so on, you know what is going on. Virtualization is very, very, very simple. Cloud computing is very simple because you're not touching, you're not touching anything as everything is on the cloud. You just need to add the thing that you found through the experience, the phase one, phase two, as the concept. You know what is Active Directory, what is, uh, for example, File Server, what is DNS Server, what is DHCP Server, what is IS Server, what is W2 Server. So you know this whole concept. Now, when you dive into the cloud computing, it's very easy because the concept is clear. Now, what's the purpose for the cloud computing? You can access it from any, any places, from anywhere, like on demanding services. There's many types of services like, uh, so, uh, like software as a services, or we can say platform as a services, or um, there's another uh, services that we can say infrastructure as a services. But this all about, you know what it's all about. As a technical person, you know the concept and cloud going to be very, very, very simple because adding a server, you don't have to install a server. The template is there, you just drag and drop and go and modify the server. It doesn't matter if you want to configure Active Directory, if you doesn't want to uh, configure Active Directory, for example, web server or WC server, IS server, so on. It's very simple, the template is there, you just install. It's very simple. That is why most of the people who dive into the cloud computing and uh, diving into the cloud computing and they rush to find a job, it's okay for the people who doesn't know. I mean, see, it's, it's very hard for the people, the non-technical people. They are expert in different department, but not in technical. It's, it's not their problem as well. They're hiring as a captive person. They believe that you are the good person. The, the missing part, I think, and here is a good word to say, the missing part that they uh, are a bit confused to hire which one is right and which one is wrong. Even nowadays, nowadays one, some of the, uh, uh, like, like the job search engine algorithm is like it's, it's copying, it's, it's, it's trying to see matching the artificial intelligence, matching what your resume, if your resume is matched with job requirement, it automatically pick your resume and put it in the short list. Later on, when the guy they interview and they found that you are a copy paste. It does not happen over the night to become expert on cloud computing. So there's a lot of stuff it required to become on cloud computing. So that's why I thought as a person who involved in communication technology, to share my opinion with all of you. I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very helpful, what I'm suggesting you right now, go ahead and share this information with your colleagues, with your friend, with your family, with whoever you think they pursue and chasing the technology. Okay, the last but not least, the only way to appreciate my work is to subscribe my channel. And stay safe, be brave, and of course, uh,